Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome back for another member newsletters tip. Today we're down in the bunker and I just want to keep it very simple for today, but uh, I want to clarify just two misconceptions that I think a lot of people have when it comes to their bunker play um, and just try and help give you a, a simpler process to, to just make this environment a little bit easier, help you get out of the bunker a little bit more uh, consistently and effortlessly. Yeah, the bunkers here are pretty difficult, they're pretty penal, obviously it's a very soft sand, it's a natural sand, so um, they're um, a difficult environment, but um, if we can keep a couple of very simple ideas, I'm confident that you're going to improve your bunker play in a lot of areas. So one of the big things that I find um, from just talking to a lot of students is they're very scared of opening the club face or adding loft when it comes to bunker play. Um, I think reasons why, they probably think that the, the, the club's going to be aiming too far off to the right and they're scared of missing that shot off to the right or they're going to try and compensate for that, aim a little bit left, and as a result, they can kind of slice across it, and that just makes the strike pretty inconsistent. Just want to clarify that when you add loft to a club, you're not actually necessarily making it aim to the right. And I've got just an alignment stick here to help try and show that for everybody. So it's just a small little alignment stick that will aim on the face. So if I set myself up with a square club face. I'm not trying to add angle or do anything to it just yet. You can see that that white alignment stick aims down the target line or the orange alignment stick in front of me. I'm going to open this face and to open that face all I'm going to do is twist the grip to the right and you can see that there's now a tiny little bit of aim to the right. For me to counter this and get it back to square if I actually just lower my hands just a little bit or get the grip a little bit closer to the sand, you can now see that that alignment stick is in effect pointing straight upward. It's square to the target line or the club face is still aiming straight. So even though I have twisted the club to the right, I'm not aiming the club to the right. So I can have confidence now that even though I have so much loft, the face is still square to my target line. And this is going to allow me a couple of things. I now can just aim square to my target line so my feet and everything can be parallel to it. I don't need to adjust anything else with that. Um, so that's going to allow me to then make a swing that's nice and straight. I'm going to be a bit more consistent as to where I hit the sand as a result of that. Um, I don't need to worry about the spin or the curvature that the ball might have as it comes out of the bunker. Um, and I'm just going to see like, a truer, straighter flight. If um, yeah, um, I make a swing that's just down this target line. The second thing is a lot of people just find it difficult to cover the distance or get the ball out of the sand. So to simply counter that or you know, improve your skill with this, all I want you to do is on every bunker shot you hit, hit the sand hard enough so that the sand goes onto the green. A lot of people just hit and quit and the ball just stays on the face. I want you to make a swing big enough where this um, I'm going to follow through with enough power so that the sand gets onto the green surface. So if I add a little bit of loft, set myself up now nice and square, and hit the sand onto the green, that ball out of the bunker each and every time is flown straight, haven't overcomplicated this task. Hopefully those couple of ideas are just going to simplify, simplify, uh, simplify your bunker play. Good luck, give it a go.